FM модуль радио модуль Радио Дом L'exposition d'un rêve Time kept jumping in Bangkok An old wood house Suddenly, I woke up. I went to a big house. It was full of wooden rooms. No regular stairs, but a slope with stripes. I saw Team. It was not sad, but lost. did my best job. But you, you slept for 24 years. And your memories are lost. We went to the doctor. Upstairs. Go to another doctor downtown. And he said, Root. Time jumps to tomorrow on the street. Skyscrapers, but dirty and not organized. People were a bit unruly. 
a lot of dry gum over my left eye. I peeled the gunk out and my memory was slowly restored. Back at the wood house. Many friends. Friends I don't know. Alpine Trail. That wonderful purple that hangs under the eaves at twilight and washes cool through evening trees. The color of nighttime sunshine and indigo flame bathing dark nights in desire. Wrap me in those depths. I breathe in the cool blue where money floats but doesn't talk. Cars hiss by my window. Yet nothing is revealed. I am secreted away in dark depths, a dream in purple shades with a lover by an opaque sea. An eternity, an obsidian sky, one frozen moment fixed forever. These cliffs go on and on, and of course they never move, never falter. They stand as the gates of the world. It might be said that I will never leave this place. Land of the child spirits. We move up the side of the world. Far off some village lies and glints welcome, brilliant beneath penetrating beams at the base of the dark cliffs. Below the deep green earth of the slopes. A young genius walks the streets there. The pressure of 10,000 acres of hard rock upon his skull, waiting to explode, with thoughts winding in and out and over the course of the land, like the rows of the terraced vineyards. His lover lies out in the landscape, arched, longing, far out across the lake, below the snowfields, pristine. Through the regular order of the rows, the streets and houses, the gleaming light of the boy's shining mind runs threads. He weaves a network of internal logic that eventually blankets the town, his own vision snaking its way up and out over the surface of this intuitive carpet. Everything is known to him. All the forms exist for him. From the first moment, the first movement, nothing is left hidden, and yet nothing revealed. He grins. With a slow wrinkle of his forehead, the logic carpet is lifted, shaken, and unfurled again, now lying in a new configuration across the land. 
Rising up, he walks across the beads of light, casting shadows which scorch and lay clear all things. Eternity is revealed in one aspect after another. Vision is incomplete. Every viewpoint in his head is but one of many. Every vision is fiction, every dream fact. Faster, faster now the images in his mind shatter into a thousand synthetic shards. The world a cubist visage for a moment. And then the logic tape shook once more. Gone, all gone, gone. His lover still waiting in the field.
überraschen. The father of came death should they come ability the death fact for each moment is understood in the thing it occurs idea unconscious well well produced frightened to him death away glimpse caught astronauts stumbling in new room mechanism of views and shield So even in the mobile environments these sensors are there inspection The first young is ethical and the second is ultimate face absent and pale It is the face of the white to see The floor makes of the white But what about the time or some sun man He found a man of the true one of nature to work to be in him Tear shirt cry hand we think to pass his eye I would never feel any man to say or know just see lead he surveyed The procession will provide more specific sound as it says low Heard with this sound is another one that is seldomly heralded Hand pushes coffin, staff feel over there where angels going. And then time coffin back and break. The bell is on his visitor and not on his door. often Will we carve some enzymatic pieces for the extremity and coffin them? He was back in a few fragments and remains separate. Time was man-made thought 
with just. He would throw pain for Earth. Somewhere in house, mighty meat. White tulip. Whether you are for solitude or not, does not retire into this white. to understand. Apologizing a great friend, I thought him more and asked, it is dead from the observer, the cat is interrupted. No jackets were apologized by these nose in black. Therefore, dead observer cats interrupt. Observers of structure in good and habit species. The cat is a kind of a seller. Two expressions face. A man of a sky seen to what it lights is. who makes no past will look to be well.
decomposed deathbed, deep drum, demon head. Decrescendo, dimming drum, delicate, delirium,
We are in a small room. We are aware that we are dreaming, but within this dream, we are also aware dreams are absolutely as real as everyday reality, as most people experience it. We're on a planet, not one in our solar system. It could be anywhere, in any form of consciousness, in any dimension or parallel omniverse. We are on the surface somewhere. It is very desolate, dry, desert-like but primarily rocks, gullies, crumbling mesas. There seems to be a system of dried out canals or waterways, which makes me think at first this is Mars. And then we look to our left and there is a cliff about a mile distant. It runs from the center of the horizon to my left. Though we see no landscape or mountains visible above the top edge of this cliff, its texture is very much giving an appearance of waveforms, exactly like the surface of a relatively rough sea, frozen solid, but then eroded and crumbling along the top edges, so there are small piles along the bottom of the cliff where it joins the horizontal, barren desert. The colors are ochres, sand, reddish mud with a thick coating of dust. We can see a rock, very different in composition to all the very washed out wheat browns, oranges and yellows of the rest of the location. This rock is very dark gray or washed out black, definitely a gray sourced from black. It has a surface quite like pumice stone, little sparks of silica, porous holes, lumps and bumps. We walk towards it slowly. We are feeling recognition. We have been here before, many times. This rock is familiar. We are aware that some kind of intuitive ritual or event happens here over and over again neither pleasant nor distressing. The closer we get to the rock, which we know we have done countless times before, we become aware that the rock has actually been shaped to a small degree. It is in fact a seat, though my first thought was it was a throne. We walk slowly to the throne. As we do, we notice a flash of light, sunlight reflecting off the distant cliff face. We turn towards it. There is a huge window of some material like glass or perspex set into the cliff. It is about 23 feet high and square, so 23 feet wide. It is not flat, though. It follows the undulating waves of the escarpment exactly. There is no light coming from behind it. So when it is not catching the sun, it is a square black hole. 
there is a rustling noise before me. We turn back to find a figure is now seated on the dark throne. It wears a long flowing robe. This robe is dyed black, very black. It is obviously created from a voluminous amount of textile because it cascades in countless folds and creases to the ground where it is piled up almost like a defensive bulwark, ready to repel any hint of the age, gender, or physical shapes of the being within. We can hear a slight rasping of breathing and the ropes move and shift occasionally, so we know it is inhabited by a life form, but no more than that. We try to see inside the hood before me. It hangs below where a forehead might be. There is no face visible. If we change position, just shadow, a slight feeling of something. It seems the more we stare, the less we can see. We become aware that we are not seeing a face obscured by shadows, more that there is no face. Our best judgment is that there is no humanoid head, but rather an upside down, elongated, transparent pyramid. My mind starts to become conscious of a whispering, raw, sandpaper-like voice speaking in my head. We cannot comprehend any individual words, nor language, nor familiarity of meaning, yet we know we are receiving data of some kind. We are inputting information of some kind. It spoke. Your continuing repetition of apparent existences has brought our life loops yet again to a common intersection. We are blessed, all of us, that all beings of infinite kinds and kindness that occupy so many dimensions outside and within time should choose to care so much for us. We replied, in this thought form way alone, thanking it for however it had achieved this appearance of reality and materiality. We talked at length with it, saying how crazy it seems when we wonder how it could possibly manifest from a beginning of nothing. How can anything be born from or created from total absence? The being stated, We are the dissident watchers. That is our function. Without our watching, nothing remains. There is only absence. It asked me if we remembered a vision we had after we received Coom in summer 1969. That can explain how and we recalled that vision. But was it a vision or a dream? A dreamed dream? The endless knot. We were in a void, a total void. True nothingness, no sense of mind, place, substance, living, a state of infinite black. 
but not just absence of light, but absolutely, utterly nothing. A form of nothing that had a consistency of a liquid, a thick, gelatinous, semi-solid liquid, like dense treacle, right on an edge of being a solid. This was not just black, not even black. There is a true black that until recently was only theoretical, that is now viable, made by creating some kind of nanoparticles of totally non-reflected carbon that totally absorb and cannot transmit any frequency at all. A hungry ghost of black, that kind of black. In this black environment, in this dream, we were fully dormant. We were intelligence and phenomenon in potentia with no awareness of even such a possibility. We were nothing, in nothing, for nothing, not there, non-existent, unaware of our possibility of selfhood, of our divine possibility, neither male nor female, nor material, nor void, nor space. At this point, we experienced a great mystery, an A story unfolding. We knew that we were not observing this state of oblivious oblivion. We were it, remembering the it, and suddenly, with no sense of it having been possible before, this happened. It blinked. Yet, in that immeasurably tiny millisecond, it had instant, shocked awareness of itself, that it existed, had always existed, yet with no dream, no senses, no breath, no need, no touch, no light, nothing, no thing. Yet in that split millisecond of a blink, awareness of self, occurred, could not be withdrawn. It was now self-conscious. It could not be forgotten, nor subtracted. suddenly observer, looking into that total blacker than black, gelatinous, carbon black. Then we were it again, and with a conscious knowledge of being, lines of energies radiated from my single eye, deep in the darkness, immeasurably distant. These zigzagged as we, frozen, just watched. Crazy broken lines of crystalline growth, seemingly made from gems and precious stones, endless radiating sparkling colors and geometric textures, initially infinite geological landscapes piling up simultaneously in every direction, quake perversely spreading out further and further, exploding and fragmenting creating unique dimensions, spreading ever outwards to what would become the distant far reaches of parallel, weirdly shaped universes. Spinning shapes, building blocks of matter, molecule, glowing space dust, gears and cocks, levers of precious metal all spilling from one eye, from a blink. Destinies and stories, galaxies with perfect disasters and civilizations. A moment of solidity from nothing, born of consciousness of self.
first, it was. Unknowing, hibernating, possibility with no reason nor awareness. Then, it knew it was. And that was it. Cosmic organicism of the universal molecular. <laughs>